Alrighty, welcome back class. We are now on the third example, the dreaded tower builder. I know this guy, this um, particular one was a bit of a struggle yesterday and it's just a tricky one overall, but it's not too bad once you break it down. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get it done together. So hopefully this will get you guys caught up for next week. Let's reset over here. Let's begin like we always do by reading the assignment. So Corel starts on the first row and the first column. Your job is to build a tower, a stack of three tennis balls on all of the odd columns in the world. The first, third, fifth, seventh, blah, 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 blah. This must work on any sized world. So there could only be one column or there could be a hundred columns and it should still build a tower on every odd column. You're allowed to use super curl commands and this is what the world should look like at the end. Okay, so we know that there is some repeatability here, like we were saying before, right? Maybe we want to teach, we want to start thinking about teaching Corel how to build these towers and, and how to find the next tower to build. Um, we see each tower is three balls tall and then he moves one space and then he moves a space again and builds another tower. And he moves one space and then he moves again and then he builds another tower. And then he stops at the end, right? So let's think. First thing that we got to do, we're actually going to start with a function. We're going to teach Corel what it means to build a tower. Because if I go right now and I just I'm like, hey, Corel, please, oops, please build a tower. Corel doesn't understand that. So we need to teach him how to do that. So we're going to create a function, function build tower. And let's go, let's have Corel turn left he's going to be building up right so oh nothing happened nothing happened here when i ran the code because i didn't call my function so now we're telling corel hey build a tower but so far build tower only means turn left right so that's not right but it's getting closer so now we're going to say put a ball down move put ball move let's check just that Okay, we're getting somewhere. We know it has to be three balls tall. So we're gonna put ball again and move. And now for those paying attention, I want you to notice that, hey, every time I call put ball, I wanna move. So there's some repeatability here. There's something going on here. Maybe something we can optimize and shortcut later. But okay, so we have our build tower. There we go. Oh, maybe we move too much. Maybe we don't need this last move. So now we need to think about what do we want him to do next? Well, some of you guys here in your examples yesterday, you were coming up with a separate function called come down or back down or any of those things, and which is, you know, you're not wrong. You do want to come back down. And then sometimes you guys were turning right and then moving, and then turn right again, and then move, 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 something like that. And then you were calling back down after you called your build tower. And so your code operated like this. And you're like, hey, this, oh, I have one extra move. And so then you guys were like, you know, doing this in separate steps, which, is not um, wrong, you can do it this way, but it's more complicated to think about. For example, let's consider that Corel is just the world's best dog construction worker, right? Which he is. Uh, but let's pretend that the construction worker has now built the building, right? And so the construction worker at the end of the day doesn't spend the night in the building. He goes home and resets for his next day, right? And he does this by climbing back down the building and, and being very polite and not jumping out of the window to rush to the ground, right? We're not doing that. So instead of having all this, we are going to, well, we can, we can, well, you know what, let's keep this. I like this back down. We're gonna, we're gonna break apart these processes just to make it clear. But we know that every time we call build tower, we must also come back down. So instead of me calling back down over here in our start function, I'm actually going to call it in 
the build tower function because we know every time we call build tower we will also call back down so now we're over here and instead of turning right and doing all this we're going to use the building itself to come down just right down so instead of turn right and moving and turning right again we're just going to turn around and then move and then move and then turn right i think is the move here no turn left turn left let's try that okay sweet so we've built a tower and we've reset so now what well if i call build tower again what happens well now we've built two things on top of each other so that's no good so we know that we must at least move right let's check let's check cool okay and now we want to build tower is that the pattern that we want to follow mm, no we need more space so we're gonna to need to move again okay now it's starting to look like the pattern we want so now theoretically if we move and we move again and build tower hey this is starting to look like something we can loop or we can repeat. Now let's check, does this complete? Okay, we got the first world, but are we done? Let's try the second world. Uh oh, that doesn't work. Because again, we wanna think about the assignment. So it said, your job is to build a tower on all the odd columns. This must work on any sized world. So we want Corel to be building these towers until something happens. Or we want him to build something while he has space to build them. We want him to build until he reaches the wall. Or another way to phrase that is we want him to build while he has space to build. So let's start thinking about our loops. So here, we are going to make a while loop while and we used this last time in the last example so front is clear while we have space to do something let's build tower and let's move and we're moving twice right guys whoops i forgot my parentheses there we go so let's go back to our first world Okay, but now we're crashing and you guys a lot of you guys had this problem where you come here to the end and you're like, well, my front isn't clear and and then he doesn't build anymore. What's up with that? So then maybe maybe hmm, do we need to build tower after our move? Do we, we want him to build one more time? Is that going to do it? Well, that did it, but now we have two here in the middle. We have this double stacked walls. So we're closer, but we're not quite right. Maybe we need to build tower. And let's let's think about this. So every time, if I had the code here, every time we loop through this, we are calling build tower twice. And do we want to do that every time? Is that true? Is this what we want to do? No, because then we're getting this stacking, right? We've built a tower. It comes back to loop and we're immediately building another tower. So that's not cool. So where do we put this second build tower? Well, if we only want it to happen once at the end, maybe we can put it outside of the while loop when the while loop is done and it'll build a tower. Let's try that. Okay, that worked. Let's check our second world. So now he crashes into the wall here. Why does he crash into the wall? Because we have move, move. Okay, so now our second question is, do we want to move twice every time we loop through this? Is this always true? If we are looping, must we move twice? And so let's think about this. If we're looking over at our example, we built a tower, we moved once, we moved twice, we built another tower. We moved once, we moved twice, we built another tower. We moved once, we moved twice, we built another tower. We moved once, and we wanted to stop here. But instead, we told him that he must move twice. 
So maybe we can put a check here. And the check, our condition, we can go here to documentation, conditional statements, if statements. If a condition is true, or if a condition is false, or however you want to think about this, if something happens, then we will do this code. So maybe the second move, we only want to have that happen if front is clear. And now you're probably thinking, well, what the heck? I mean, we already, we're already checking if the front is clear here, right? While the front is clear. But then we move, things change, right? We've changed something about our position. We've moved once. So we want to check after moving, is it clear again? So let's put our second move in here. Now let's try it. Uh-oh, now what's going on? Now we have a separate issue. And I've seen this issue before yesterday too. I knew we were gonna run into this because uh, you guys had it and you guys experienced this. So now what it's doing is while front is clear, build tower. If the front is not clear, or if the front is clear again, move. But even if we're skipping over this part, right? Even if this check fails, and by fails I mean it I mean it checks if the front is clear. It says nope, it is not clear. Do not execute the second move. We are building a tower. So what's the logic here? Hmm. Maybe we have to check if front is clear maybe only then are we uh building a tower could that be it so again after we finish our while loop so logically while the front is clear build a tower and move now that we've moved our position has changed so we have to check is the front clear again will move well if we do that then we have to check if the front is clear then build a tower let's try that okay so that's working so now let's check our test cases oh <gasps> uh oh what did i overlook we go back to the first world let's slow the code down let's run it so we're building. And now we're not building anymore because the front is not clear for this when we need to build. So, okay, maybe we need to rethink this whole part. Because remember, guys, you want to think repetition, you want to think repeatability. So when we were working on this world, there is something that we can notice. Let me just zip through the end really the pattern is the same if you notice we build first but then for every other step it's move move again build move move again build move move again build move we can't move anymore so really the only thing where things are different everything is move move again build except for this first one this first one is just build we're not moving we're building in place so do we want to build immediately every time this is true? No, right? What we really want to do is the most often in our loop is we want to move, check, move again, and build. That's our why. While we have space, let's move and build. So maybe I take out this build tower. Maybe we put this first. Now let's redo all of this. Now we're going to be thinking, okay while we have space to move after we've built our first tower let's move now let's see what this does okay so we built one tower because that's all i told it to do so we built a tower we moved and then we want to build a tower uh oh that's not right either because we know we have to move again so let's try that Okay, but now we're crashing into the wall. So now for the second one, it's that same problem from before. We want to check if front is clear. Can we move? 
then we will move and build a tower. Let's format everything correctly. There we go. So what this is saying, guys, and it's really important to understand this. While the front is clear, we are going to move. If the front is clear again after we move, so if we've moved once here, if we have space to move again, then we must build a tower, right? This must be true. If we've moved once and we still have space, if this checks and says, hey, you can move again, then we must be building a tower, right? That's what the pattern is dictating. Because here, if we've moved once and we cannot move anymore, we are not building a tower. But on the first world, if we move once, oops, let's run that then we must build a tower, right? So let's slow this code down and really look at what it's doing. We're calling our build tower and we're building a tower. Build tower is calling back down, we're coming back down. Then while we have space, we're going to move forward. We're gonna come back down. While we have space, we're going to check if we can move again. If we can move again, we will build because we must have space to build, right? Okay, so it's working here. Now let's check the next world. Let's do this faster. So we're building. We're checking to see if we can move. After we move, we're checking again. And then here we don't have space. We failed this check. So all we do is move and stop. So now let's go to our test cases. Now we've passed everything except for the comments. So let's add our comments. This code teaches um, Corel to build a tower, or teaches Corel how to build a tower. And then let's add here. This code reminds Corel to go back home after building a tower, or really to come back down. Now we can also explain this here. So we can say this while loop will allow Corel to move forward and build when he has space. The if here, after moving, we are checking to see if we still have space to move. If we have space to move, or let's see, if we will move twice, then we must build a tower. So your comments don't have to be this detailed. They don't have to be this long you know just give yourself some reminders some notes of what's going on and what your thinking was when you were writing this so that when you revisit this later you can check but now we can check our code we'll see that we've passed everything we've completed the assignment we've used all of our loops all of our functions and uh the code works on everything just speed that up right even here even on this one all good so hopefully that helps you guys. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, I know these lessons are kind of long, so you know if you need to watch these on 1.5 times speed or whatever, please let me know. If you like this format, let me know if you got any comments or concerns or, or maybe these videos are too long or they're not long enough or you need uh, me to go even slower or maybe I'm going too slow. I don't know. You guys let me know. Okay, Just, just email me about it and give me your thoughts. I'd love to hear it. Thanks. Bye.